Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you guys watched my video of week four's um, budget planning, then you know I'm d filming this on the same day. So that's why it's like kind of open in the same exact spot and stuff. But um, I wanted to make this separate video just because for the last week I actually do a little more than just focusing on one thing. I do like the whole total of everything here and I put it at the top. So yeah. Um, so for week five, since we were in April was only technically for me it's one day because I always start on Mondays for my budget planning because um, in my daily planner it starts on a Monday so that's how I kind of do my budgeting so I start on Mondays and it ends on Sunday so technically I only had one day and either ways I didn't spend any money so I'm just gonna put zero here I knew I was going to spend zero. Um, but yeah, that's just to finish off the week. And then, um, so since this is zero, I think I'm just going to write everything in this box instead of on top like I originally planned. So here's how I'm going to break everything down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down by first like the total of um, everything that I spent in each category. So it's going to be like, you know, or credit cards, cash, and blah blah blah. You know, I'm saying. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it by credit cards first. I usually try to have everything in order, but I I should have moved this over here. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so for this month, or yeah, for this month, I did thirty dollars forty four cents on the first week. Second week was a hundred and eight dollars and forty cents. What the heck? Oh, it's because it was food and stickers and lashes. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, and then I spent fourteen ninety one. Like, look at that huge dramatic difference from this week to when I actually started budgeting. When you're more like conscious about where you spend your money, like look look at that difference it's insane okay so i spent 153.71 and this is labels that i made for myself 153.75 did i say 71 okay then i'm gonna take a little credit card sticker oh and i got this from paper pineapple i think her name is pineapple papery now so yeah if you guys want to check that out i'm not sure if she still has these so this is for credit card and then next is for cash and and i just want to have do a little disclaimer is um that these are all my real prices and i'm not trying to brag to you guys or anything um i just don't want to create like fake numbers and there's nothing really for me to hide so and it's just like you know it's easier for me if i just use my real numbers and i just want to like help show you guys who are watching oh, I, I just lost my train of thought sorry um i just want to show you guys who are watching like how you can budget even if you're young you could always start budgeting at any time and it will literally save you in the long run so wow i actually spent a lot in cash but that's because this this week the second week of the month i spent way too much money way too much so i spent 79.89 all month and i got mr piggy from miscellany boulevard now for the debit card. I know some people are going to say like, why do you have a credit card? Credit cards are bad and stuff. But it works for me. I've never been in debt. Um, it just works for me. And it, I feel like it's a lot easier to have a credit card in this world. As long as you can manage it. I think it's fine, you know, but if you're having trouble with like payments and stuff and like overspending in your credit card, then that's 
a problem of course and you know should be fixed but for myself um i always pay my stuff on time i'm very responsible with my credit card so that's why i have it okay so that's what that looks like down here and then i'm just gonna put total i hate the coil okay now i'm just gonna add all of those these up okay so it's 274 oh, actually i didn't sp eh, kind of smell a lot but not really if it wasn't for these two months but we'll see about next month because i just started um budgeting so these numbers are kind of crazy to me right now i know to most people that this probably doesn't seem that crazy but mind you um i'm 21 and living with my parents so for me spending this on myself is a lot of money you know uh, i mean there's school in it too but yeah so that's the total and then i'm just gonna break them down into categories so the biggest category i see is food because i always eat out so i'm gonna do that as a category and then looks like gas should also be a category because i had to pay it twice as month so so it's eighty seven dollars I'm gonna see you in a little more Eighty seven fourteen on food. Eh, that's pretty okay. That's under my budgeted for food because I always give myself thirty dollars. I don't know where I came up with the number. Well, I mean I kinda do. My friend, she says like um she's doing this challenge where you can only spend sixty dollars on food um every other week because we get paid bi weekly. So I was like, Oh, I wanna do that challenge. So every week I just give myself thirty dollars and it works okay then next is gas so i'm just doing like the big general stuff that i always spend on so i'm just gonna do gas also just so i know for future reference like how much should be budgeted if i um if i'm gonna do cash envelopes for those because right now i only have cash envelopes for food i mean i kind of want it for other stuff too fun i don't know <laughs> cash envelopes look fun but i don't i haven't really tried it to a full extent just because i'm really bad with cash i know some people are probably baffled and like how are you bad with cash like impossible but i like to spend cash because i hate carrying bills it's plain and simple um Okay, so gas and then stickers, especially stickers because I spend too much. There's this post on Planner Kate's Facebook page, and then someone was asking what what is your monthly budget for stickers, and people were saying like twenty five dollars, fifty dollars a month. You guys, I give myself before I used to give myself thirty dollars a week for stickers. $30? $50? Something like that. And then I was like, uh-uh, I gotta take that budget away because it's just, it's just gonna make me want to buy stickers. So um, I changed it and I actually have stickers in a sinking fund now. So I cannot buy stuff until I have money for it. So for this month, I spent 49 60 for stickers i actually think that's pretty okay because i used to spend over a hundred dollars a month you guys i'm just being real with you guys so yeah this is just the categories that i see that i should break down what is the other i keep forgetting what other is oh dentist appointment that's what other was yeah, that's about it. I can't really put a budget on school because I don't know how much school books are going to cost. And for like appointments, that's going to be a sinking fund. My lash 
my my lashes are a need i know people are gonna probably criticize me for that but for me um it just makes me feel beautiful so i feel like i need to get it and it just it makes a whole difference to me so that's why i maintain it um and i just budget out for it every like the week that it comes up i just budget it out um so yeah so this is just for future reference and then this is the total that i spent for the month is that right because this is already a hundred cent okay that's right then that's right then. okay so yeah this is just how i do my weekly and also how i kind of like end the month with all the totals and stuff i hope this made sense to you guys and i hope you guys got some ideas from this um if you guys liked this video give me a thumbs up and i will see you guys next time bye